On 12th May, Event Horizon Telescope released the image of Sagittarius A star, which is at the center of our galaxy. Now people have a lot of questions about this image. So in order to find the answer to these questions, I am currently with Professor Pankaj S. Joshi sir. He is currently the distinguished professor at the International Center for Space and Cosmology at Ahmedabad University and also the founding director of International Center for Cosmology at Charles Sutton University. Thank you so much sir for your valuable time. Welcome. So sir, when we talk about the image of Sagittarius A star, the first question comes to the mind is why people are so excited about this blurred looking image? Well, uh, this has been one of the major and path breaking uh, discovery, which is a result of uh, uh, so many years of effort. Uh, the image has been created after uh, you see a major technical feat which is connecting so many radio telescopes uh, spread across the globe on one hand and on the other hand there has been a humongous data uh, analysis uh, large uh, you know data a very large data and then you know extracting the image out of uh, this data so all this work was announced by the National uh, Science Foundation press conference as you said on 12th of May. What basically the team has achieved is they have created the image or the photograph of the ultra compact object that is at the center of our own galaxy. Earlier in uh, 2019 they had created the image of the central object of the M87 uh, galaxy. Now this is closer home, our own uh, uh, galaxy. Now uh, there is a, a big difference in the masses of the objects uh, which are at the center in M87 and in the Milky Way galaxy. Milky Way galaxy SAG A star is you see of the order of uh, thousand uh, times smaller as compared to the M87 which is billions of uh, solar masses. Uh, now this image has been created uh, we see a very intriguing you know feature of uh, the accretion disk the matter falling into the compact object at the center uh, and uh, then there are brighter and there is a, a brighter and then you see the intensity depression or the light depression or the shadow like region. The most intriguing question why people are so interested is that it is the first time really that we are seeing the center of you know our own galaxy in such uh, you know amazing uh, and finer detail. What is it? that is sitting there uh, at the center of our galaxy. This is the very mysterious question. Popularly, whenever there is a very large mass sitting at the center uh, of a, a you know, a galaxy or in any region of space, typically that is called a black hole in a popular language. However, uh, in uh, you see a strict general relativity language in Einstein's theory of gravity uh, black hole is characterized by event horizon so only if the event horizon is present then only we say that a black hole is there uh, otherwise in the uh, you see uh, words of uh, my friend Professor Ramesh Narayan at Harvard University when there is a very large mass uh, sitting there he calls it an astrophysical black hole. Alright, so whether the event horizon is there or not this has been one of the fundamental questions and that means whether the black hole is there or not the team event horizon team has uh, looked into this question in a very detailed manner they published a series of seven papers actually uh, and uh, they have discussed this question in uh, uh, you see uh, great great detail. Now interestingly it turns out that trying to fit the entire data to a typical black hole model is turning out to be somewhat difficult and that is why they have considered 
options uh, such as the naked singularities and wormholes uh, also. So what is a black hole and what is a naked singularity? What is the difference between the two? Okay, I told you the large mass is sitting anyway at the center. If the event horizon is also, you know, coming with that, then that is the black hole. But if the event horizon is missing, then uh, you see it's a bare singularity which could be visible in principle to far away observers and that is a naked singularity. So the team tells in one of their papers that in fact it is impossible to arrive at a definite conclusion that the object sitting over there is a black hole only. Uh, they clearly point out that we have to do much more analysis, much more details have to be gone into if we are to come to this kind of a conclusion. And so then they examine other models also. In particular, they say that uh, so-called JMN1 singularity, which was, uh, you see, a model of a naked singularity given by uh, myself and Daniel Malafarina and uh, Professor Narayan uh, at Harvard. So they say that this particular model, this particular naked singularity could be one of the best uh, uh, black hole mimicker. This is in the sense that uh, this JMN1 singularity, uh, naked singularity also produces a very similar shadow uh, that a Schwarzschild black hole will produce. So we are left at, you see, that point and then what next? Uh, further analysis will be done uh, but you see there are many intriguing observational aspects like you know there are collection of stars S stars they are called which are circling the very center of uh, uh, our galaxy uh, so uh, their orbits uh, you know give us a lot of clues on uh, whether the object could be a black hole or a naked singularity our own group here at the ICC, in the Cosmology Center, we have shown that uh, naked singularity could exhibit interesting features such as, for example, the negative precision or we are figuring out, you know, various different accretion disk features also. What will be the emission from uh, the accretion disk, say for uh, example, around a black hole and naked singularity? And so on and so forth. So all these issues are there. Lot of modeling will go on. Lot of theory will also uh, be explored. And eventually we hope to learn what is there uh, at the center of our own galaxy. If it turns out actually to be a naked singularity, then the consequences will be very exciting. Because naked, the singularity is a place where uh, you see the gravity and quantum come together. The, uh, today, as of now, we don't have, you know, a combined theory of quantum gravity. That is, you see, quantum theory is on one hand, the gravitation physics of Einstein is on the other hand, but there is no common framework. But a naked singularity is a place where, you know, these effects are going on together and then you get to learn how actually quantum gravity operates if you observe those regions. So in summary and in sum I will say that the galactic center, a SAG A star is uh, you see hiding huge mysteries of fundamental physics uh, such as the unified theory which was the dream of Einstein and an observer's paradise. Uh, wonderful observations would be possible in terms of star trajectories and also the x-rays emitted by the accretion disks and so on and so forth. All right, cheers and we celebrate this discovery and we go further. Thank you. That was actually a wonderful explanation because most of the people think that what is actually at the center of, of our galaxy is a black hole. Now we know that it is not a black hole for sure, thanks to Professor Pankaj Joshi sir, and we know that it can be anything uh, like a black hole or naked singularity. So sir, thanks a lot for your valuable time. We really learned a lot from your explanations. Thank you so much sir.
Thank you.